show you how to apply lashes for beginners and if you want to see how I got this look please keep on watching. So before you apply your eyelashes you're going to need a few tools. You're going to need eyelashes, small scissors, I like to use these. Um, you can really use any scissors but I prefer using small ones. Eyelash glue and mascara, a tweezer and a mirror. I like to use compact mirror like this or you could use a big mirror but I just prefer to use a compact mirror so the lashes I'm going to use today are from Icy Make Lashes shout out to Brie she's the owner super cute they come like this and they're like little ice cream cones you just take it pop it off these are what they look like very 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 cute they're called, they're in the style Vanilla Beanie. It comes with her two cards and two spoolies. I'll leave all her information in the description box below. I need my tweezer and then I'm gonna be using the Duo brush adhesive. It's very old, but this is my favorite. It holds longer and I prefer the black glue instead of the white one because if you have, um, eyeliner or anything it blends right in first things first when you do eyelashes you're gonna take them out of the casing with a tweezer but be very gentle because you don't want to rip it so I'm just gonna do it like this and a trick that I learned a while ago in learning how to put on lashes is the shorter corner of the lash is for your inner corner and the longer corner is for the outer corner so whenever you get it, remember the shorter corner goes on the inside and the longer corner goes on the outside. So when you always get lashes, you have to have to measure them on your eye first because you don't want them too long, you want them to be exactly on your eye. So all you can do is just take your mirror, do it like this, and just like play with it. place it on the eye. And just measure it, just measure it, um, eyeing it, just measure it like eyeing it. Yeah. Now if it does fit your eye, you should cut the inner corners because it can irritate you. So, as you can see, the inner corner of this lash is a little bit longer. So I'm going to take my scissor and just cut the extra piece off. And you can see it's a little bit longer on the outer corner, so I'm just going to cut it off. Now, if it's too long for your eye, you should really cut it right about here. You know, not all the way in, but like the first section of the lash. And if it's too long for your inner eye, do the same thing on this side. Cut like the first small section in the lash. I'm going to do the same to this eye. I'm going to cut the inner and outer corner. Now when I'm actually going to apply the lash, I'm going to take the tweezer and the lash and make sure it's sturdy. So I just usually place it in the middle because when I actually apply on my eye, I'm going to start with the middle. But you will see that when I explain it. I'm just going to take the duo glue. I prefer the glue with this type of top on it because it's easier to brush on the eye. Brush it on. Don't put too much. Put a light coat. When you have the glue on the lash, make sure, you know, to let it dry for at least 30 seconds you can blow on it now this is what people tell me is the most difficult part to put on lashes so i'm going to show you so you're going to take your mirror preferably a compact mirror and you're not going to hold the mirror up front of your face like this you're going to hold it downwards on a tilt so when you look at your face you're going to be looking downward so the first step is you're going to make sure it sticks in the middle first that's the trick So when you have it stuck in the middle, then you can take the inner corner and stick it, and then you can take the outer corner and stick it. And there you go. Now this lash is very dramatic, but I prefer a little bit more of a fuller lash because I feel like that looks better on my face. This is not, well this could be an everyday lash, but this is more of a, like a going out type of lash. And yeah, so that's the trick. So remember, 
when you put it on, make sure it's as close to your lash line as possible, but make sure you stick it in the middle first. When the middle is stuck, then it's easier for you to stick it on the inner corner and the outer corner. Do the same thing with the other lash. So just the same thing, blow it, make sure it's a little tacky. Don't make sure it's completely dry, make sure it's a little tacky. Then you have your mirror, but don't put it up in front of your face, just like this. Put it downwards on tilt. So when you're looking into the mirror, you're looking down. And then put it on the lash line. And make sure the middle is stuck first. The middle is on, and all you gotta do, inner corner and the outer corner. And there you go. And also a benefit of looking downwards is you can see if your lash is actually on the lash line. Because sometimes if you look directly um, straight ahead, your lash can be above your lash line and it's not gonna look good. So just make so the benefit is tilt it and you can see where your lash line and the ball seat connect. So when your lashes are dry, the last step is to apply mascara. So I'm just gonna use the Maybelline Great Lash. And then I'm just gonna put mascara on like I do normally. Now this step is very important because the black mascara is gonna connect or cover up any lines that can show your false lashes and your real lashes. I'll just put some mascara on the bottom. I'm gonna use the Kat Von D tattoo liner and just line my waterline. down my face. This primer I'm using is very dewy. So that is the final look. I hope you guys really enjoy it. Please let me know what you like to see next and I'll see you guys next time.